AOZ rapid test kit for tissue. First of all, let's talk about what we have in the box. A part of the manual, we have one bottle of reagent A, one bottle of reagent B, one bottle of reagent C, D, E, and F. Please pay attention that reagent D is ethyl acetate and reagent E is normal hexane. Also we get 10 extraction columns and one tube with 10 test strips and 10 red micro wells. Please pay attention that after sample preparation this rapid test kit can be used to detect AOZ, AHD, SEM and AMOZ. The whole process includes three parts, sample preparation, extraction and detection. First step would be sample preparation. We will weigh six grams of homogeneous tissue sample and put it into a 50 milliliter centrifuge tube. Our sample here is chicken. After weighing our sample, we'll put five milliliters of reagent A to the centrifuge tube. 800 microliters of reagent B as well. Vortex for 30 seconds at 2000 to 3000 RPM. Next step will be putting our sample into the water bath and incubate for 5 minutes at 75 degrees. Alright, now we'll take out uh, our sample from the bath and it will look like this. Also, we can see here there is already uh, supernatant. We will put 10 milliliters of reagent C, which is in our case here 5 milliliters twice, 5 milliliters of reagent D. Vortex for 10 to 20 seconds. Centrifuge for 2 minutes at 4000 RPM. Alright, now we take out our sample. And we can see here the supernatant, very clear, we can see the supernatant. Now we take two milliliters of the supernatant, only the supernatant, and put it into a 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. Now we'll take 10 milliliters of reagent E and put it into the similar same centrifuge tube. Mix up and down for four to five times. And as we can see again, I would like to remark, we see only the supernatant. Centrifuge for one minute at 4000 RPM. 
Take out and we will find here a little bit of sediment. And uh, next step will be sample extraction. So, um, for sample extraction by instrument, first thing we do is connect, connect to the extraction units. We have four extraction units. Pay attention that the columns are here or this way. All right. All right. So now uh, we open it. Put the syringe, just right. Open the other ones. Now I will pour the supernatant. sure you do not pour the sediment. Turn on the vacuum pump and let the liquids flow through the extraction column. To flow, all the liquid should flow through the extraction column. Take out the syringe, just use the finger to pinch a bit so it will take about 10 seconds uh, from the moment we took uh, take out the syringe and now we turn off the vacuum pump now we release the pressure and open the cover now we will place two milliliter centrifuge tubes into the cover. Make sure these tubes are not touching each other. Not to make it this way, but to make it this way. Place the elution cover. Make pressure again. All right. Now we'll put reagent F to the extraction columns, one milliliter of reagent F. Turn on the vacuum pump and let the liquid flow. Wait for five seconds, for extra five seconds after the whole liquid was flown into the, through the extraction column. Release the pressure and remove the cap. What we have here is our detection sample. The above detection sample reagent can be used for detection of AOZ, AHD, SEM, and AMOZ. Now, next step will be testing. Take the number of microwells you need. 
take 200 microliters of the detection sample and put it into the red microwells. 200 microliters to each red microwell. Mix well for 5 to 10 times. Incubate for 5 minutes. That will be our first incubation. If the temperature is below 20 degrees, please use our BioEasy incubator. All right, so first incubation is about to finish. We prepare our test strips. Place our test strips. and incubate for another three minutes and again if the temperature is below 20 degrees please use BioEasy incubator second incubation has finished now we remove the sample pads and first thing to do is compare the results uh, to our paper here to the manual so we can see the result is negative it was uh, observation by eye and next step will be observation by reader turn on the reader press go once again press go press the uh, green uh, tick and then the single test now we open the tray place the test strip close and press test here you can see result number 20 it is negative it is negative in terms of our levels of detection